Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We've got a bunch of scrap saved up, and there's a store nearby, so I figured even though there's not an immediate need for us to get anything, we should probably save up what we can and check it out anyway. Because our defenses are relatively solid. You see a number of derelict ships near this beacon. After a short time, you hear the telltale sounds of a teleporter. They decided to board you. You know, actually... Yeah. Looking at this... Where's the door room? Right there. Alright, I'm gonna have you come in here. They were in there? Okay. Well, the lane here should, show, should slow them down. You guys want to stay in here and fight? I have reconstructive teleport. The health of these guys doesn't even matter. Yay! Everybody back to positions. Maybe not that soon? Frederick, you were a little too enthusiastic. Is our oxygen on? Okay, it is. Well, Frederick lost half of his health because computers need to, you know, breathe and stuff. One, two, three... You know, we're in a nebula. I bet we could make that. No, Ion Storms. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh conditions, a rebel scout seems to be waiting for you. How to do this, then? We're gonna take three out of here, and I'm gonna put that in there. They can only shoot me once, so I'll take a point out of the shields. I'm gonna put one point into here, and one point into here. I could take power out of here if I need it as well. I can't have more than four power in here, though. That's fine. This laser will never be able to get through our shields, and we'll cloaking for the missile. What's gonna happen first? All right, we're gonna shoot our flak at the shields. And I want to hit these. It's less damage than if I hit up here, but we're not going to be able to kill them in one shot anyway, and I want to hurt their weapons. It's trying to escape! I didn't hear the noise. Did it shoot something? I'm a cloak. Yep, it shot the missile. Okay. Advance? Yeah, alright. I'll save this. I'm glad we hit the shields. If we take power, or we break something, they'll just put power in another system. We need to shit there. Oh, cool, they took power out. Wow, we're not gonna be able to finish them. You know, let's just wait then. The advanced flak will come back. There's no there's no point in just shooting early. Now that we'll do the full damage, it will die. We will refuse their surrender. And we'll be better people for it. I think, maybe, kinda. You feel naked. And now you don't. Because your ship has power. Alright, I think this was in here, and that was off. We will definitely make it, okay. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler. What are you hiding? I can take that out of there, put this back in here, and cancel their hacking. Hacking? Yes, they're hacking the mind. The mind control. This is one of their small ships. We could probably bore that issue. You're not even slugs. Mantis and Zoltan. Because they're at full health, yeah, that guy's gonna leave. Run around the ship and fight? Yeah, we'll fight two on one. <laughs> the Zoltan tried to run back into the shield room, and because the oxygen wasn't back, he died instantly. With the crew dead, you search, uh, search the ship. You find military-grade weaponry and take what looks most useful. Heavy laser. All things that I like. Though I think the ion bomb would be more useful. If we get the shields down, it would be more useful, because I like the two shots and the possible breach, but just guaranteeing that the shields will always be down whenever the halberd beam can fire would probably be more useful in the long run. This does connect over there, so we can safely make this jump. 
Was this Sector 7? I think this is Sector 7. The center of a hydrogen cloud doesn't seem like a very usual place for a store, but Engi aren't a usual species. Wouldn't hurt to take a look. Burst laser 1, nope. Ion stunner, nope. Hull missile, nope. We are full on systems. I don't want a med bay. We could buy more crew. We'll pick up the fuel just in case. This is a really efficient weapon. It shoots pretty fast. But the halberd beam should handle our damage needs. We'll hold on to it just in case. I guess there's no reason to sell it immediately. We're already in the green. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our ship first. And then see if we can buy somebody. What do we want? We're going to want two more points into that and two more points here. So now we can have all of these functioning. That leaves us with 100 left. What systems don't have things? Our sensors, which are already ranked 2, so that's not a high priority. And our doors for boarding would be nice. I guess that's more people in case we do get boarded to fight back, too. It's less of a priority for the outer rooms, though. Eh, you know what? More crew is more crew. Zoltan. Do we want a Zoltan, though? I was thinking about just buying them. Already good at weapons. How good are you at weapons? You're not really good at all. So, Randy Walker's already done with that. And... I don't know why I would want a Zoltan to fight, but... You can come into here, and you'll take over that. Zoltan is basically just buying more power at the moment, but we do have a backup battery system in case we need to do any emergency activating of stuff. And I don't have a drone system, so we don't have two eight-point systems. So I think we should be okay with power. Because I can still get four more power. And two will go into the shields. Engines are good. We'll have two more floating power to put into whatever we need here. And emergency two to four if we need to activate anything there. We won't need to use all of these at the same time, most likely. So with the doors activated, I'm actually less concerned with the uh, sensors. Once you get it to rank two, just being able to see inside their ship is fine. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Attack! Never, not, never works out whenever I try and uh, mind control him. He always forgets why he gave us that deal in the first place. In the battery room. Right here. So we'll open these. And handle the borders before we go over there. We can cloak the missile. That'll never be able to get us. I assume they've been handled. I looked up and didn't see. But we're hurt. And now we're not. Yeah, let's teleport over there. Then we're gonna have... Flak... Did we just kill them? Now nah, we can get the crew. Shoot here. That didn't work. So we're gonna ion bomb the shields. That did work. We're gonna cloak. We dodged it. We're gonna do that. It is actually broken. So we're gonna prioritize killing them and preventing them from fixing this. Good. And we got an ion blast. Take them back. I could have also ion bombed that, and the 20 seconds of them not being able to use it would have also been good enough. But I prefer outright breaking it just in case. That way, there's actually an investment for them to do stuff. You jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm, and an automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves into attack. I think we're going to escape. Because they're automated. Which means we have to destroy them, which means less of a reward, and I don't like fighting without our power. I'm going to actually pause. I don't know why it says paused if it's not really paused. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned with an enemy to warn of your passing. I don't know if that was English at the end. I mean, I guess it was technically paused, but if it stopped for me afterwards, I'd appreciate it. One, two, three. Oxygen's mildly important for some of the people on the crew, and I'll put the power in there. And teleporters are nice. Only need to put power in here if somebody's actually dead. Uh, yeah, we can teleport over to break it faster. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, 
You're going to be sad that your Lanius are gone. Yes, break. And we can cloak if need be. So we're going to shoot here, and if this gets all of them, it got all of them. Shoot like this. I wanted to hit the shields as quickly as possible. Enemy FTL delayed. We hit the engines and the cockpit. Oh, that was just a single shot? They're in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, no reason to do that. You guys can come out of there. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. The ship breaks apart. You're one step ahead of them. Is this? Oh, I was kind of hoping that would go down there. Wow, that's just a dead location. Yeah, we aren't going that way. We're going to try and stay just ahead of it to get as many jumps in as we can. With the sensors down, you spend a good deal of time staring out the window. Yep, this is Sector 7. Okay. Quad shields next? Probably quad shields. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler. This usually gets us a pretty good deal, but I don't know if attacking them and killing the crew actually gets us a better one. 53. I'm not too concerned with the fuel because we're at the end. I'll just go for more scrap. I bet we could get more than 53 off them. Where are you coming over? Somebody's teleporting, right? Oh, you already shot? I didn't even hear the noise. Maybe it's because I only have sand in the left ear. It missed anyway. What are they breaking? They're over there. Okay. We're just gonna open that and then teleport over here anyway. Teleport over here anyway? Yeah, teleport over here. Anyway! Definitely heard the noise that time. We dodged it. We shoot the shields. Like so. The medbay's broken. They'll try and leave once the oxygen's gone, which will get us a lot of extra free shots on them, too. This one we're just going to have to take. No, we dodged it. Okay. Drain the room. Man, they're really, like, they're still alive? We've got some pretty good doors, too. This one's gonna hit. No, we got a breach. Not a problem, though. I can't believe they lived that long. Gotta take power out of here to put that back into there. Alright, the weapons are starting to... I'm gonna halberd this. They're trying to jump away. Also delayed. Are you really gonna lose? You got cloaked. You need to get back over there. Things are bad. Ion bomb. Oh, they fixed! What the hell am I even looking at? I didn't even notice that one slipped in there. And now we're down a man. You know, I think I'm just gonna kill them. They've kind of irked me. Mm, divine judgment. Nope. 75! Look, we got even more. I took a few shots in there. I, I played that dumb. It's okay. We survived. Yellow just means we're almost in problems. Which one of you is good at... Okay. I might have hit the save positions a little late. Or no, I just didn't save positions at all. Right, okay. I do believe there is also a breach over here. They should probably fix that first. It's mildly important to be able to move around your own ship. And we're good. I'll take both of those. And one of those. Any more scrap and we'll be able to get through quite easily. 
heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula, but you use your teleporter to lock onto their life signs. You beam a Federation crew aboard. One gladly joins your crew. The rest wait to be dropped off at the next station. Welcome aboard, Pomeroy. Wow. I should maybe do that thing where I level them up to gold at some point during the other runs. Maybe. I'm gonna buy that. This gets us the quad shields. Everything else from here on out is just quality of life stuff for the most part. Wow, that's 50. I thought that was 35. Crew teleporter cloaking. Mind control. I think we're gonna get crew teleporter first. We should be still be able to get a bunch of scrap in this last sector because the rewards are crazy. Long range beacon almost hidden. The last stand. You arrive in an outpost close to the Federation base, and you explain things to them, and they give you stuff, and your ship is fixed. Hurrah! We need to get over there as soon as possible. Or we're gonna miss the repair. You know, I don't... I don't nah, we've got good missiles and stuff. We're just gonna go around and do what we can. We're probably going to lose a repair station. Wow, there's, it's possible to not have fights out here? I thought every location was actually a fight in these sectors. We're repaired! The sheer scale of the destruction in the distance is almost breath breathtaking. That's not even English. <laughs> Unfortunately, your position as an independent observer doesn't last for long. I just got off work, sorry. Uh, Hector and Walker. I don't know if, you know what, this, this train's extra fast. We'll drain this. You wait in here. Yeah, they already don't want to be in there. So we'll take this out of the clone bay. They don't have a clone bay or med bay, which is fantastic. I'll send them up here, which will make them a high priority. We're going to hit the weapons because I need those Vulcans offline and the missiles. We can cloak so that we dodge both of these. Man, you guys are still... Okay, no, they're, they're stopped. We're going to... Is my, my keyboard doing that thing again? Okay. Shoot there. We're gonna ion bomb it. Never mind. Double ion bomb. And attack up. Wow, we got him. That... that all right, they were running away low health and they both died like that? That's... that's biffy. 60. There isn't time to salvage the empty ship. Really? Because it looks like we made out like bandits. You guys get in there and fix that, you can take a step out. No pressure. And once the doors are actually fixed, we can close them. I was wondering why I couldn't do that. And fixed. Yay, skill ups. Yoz, you're dying. Yaz. A store? That's kind of interesting. I wonder what we could possibly get in this last sector. And we already lost that station anyway. Traveling merchant, you say? We don't have drone control. We can't get hacking. We have con reconstructed teleport already. Defense Scrambler is usually pretty nice, but, uh... We have Teleporting Bombs. And... Hmm, I didn't think about that. The Ion Bombs are great at taking out the, uh... Zoltan Shield on the last round, but we have a... We have the, um... Sorry, my, my brain. The Teleporty Through Thing! The Zoltan Bypass! I wonder if we can still hurt their Zoltan shields like that. Maybe that augment's actually going to be a bad thing. Or no, because we can still teleport through and kill. We'll handle stuff. I don't need a defense scrambler. I'm not hacking. And we'll get fixed up at that other station? Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Alright, there really wasn't much we could do here, though. I, I just, I like seeing it. You never know. We might have been able to get some kind of crazy weapon or something. I think we can get to that repair station in time. 
Although the sector is still under Federation control, a small scout has slipped by the fleet. You move in to engage. Flak and a Vulcan. Eh. Yeah, why don't you just uh, take a step out? They're going to waste their time doing stuff. We're not going to waste our time doing stuff. Let's teleport into there, because they'll give that precedence. They'll leave, which means this will charge slower. And it'll give us more time to build stuff up. This isn't going to be a threat until it's fully charged, and we can cloak that if necessary. We are going to advance flag. Great. And I'm going to do this. Because it takes the Vulcan offline. And it breaks their clone bay. You guys aren't going back. We have thoroughly prevented that. I didn't think that would end up doing damage. Yeah, no, you're going to need to fight me. And it's over. I'll just bring you guys back. A healing burst. I have reconstructive teleport, so that's not as important, but I do appreciate the option. Get both of those. Double pump on the oxygen. Maybe another point here. I'll get a point in each of these. Yeah, we're going to need to go up. I'm not going to jump into any ship batteries. The distraction in the distance is almost awe-inspiring. However, you're dragged back to reality as sensors indicate you're under attack. Ooh, that's a combat too. Well, we do have quad shields. There. Teleport into there. We can use mind control for whatever reason. I usually only like using that whenever we're going to... Ah, oh, you still got me anyway with the 5%. Oh well. Whenever I know stuff's going to work. Okay, that didn't work. I'm going to double bomb this just to be safe. They both missed? I even have a backup ion bomb. All hit, please. Thank you very much. I would like to hit as so. We're going we're gonna to get hit by that. Really? The 5% one hit us and that one didn't? Okay. Advanced flak. I don't care if it even hits our own guys. Just... Uh, damage it. No, wait. Their missiles are offline. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Kyle's is gone now, too. We teleport back. There isn't time to salvage. You salvage. Understood. Jump and to the base. So we're going to get both of these extra points of power. Mind control would probably work best here. Crew teleporter we're probably going to want maxed out. I don't think we'll really need cloaking much higher. But we're going to jump over here. Fight him the first time. It'll probably jump back this way. Hopefully we'll be able to make it to the repair. Maybe even to another node and then back to there. We'll see how it works out. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.